Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for January. Keep in mind that this is for any time in January. This is being recorded in December. So, you know, you really need to go watch it in January. Some people will watch it in December. It's like December, what, 16th now? And they'll, they'll think it doesn't resonate. Well, we're not in January yet. We got like, what, 45 more days until the end of January. So you, you got to use, you know, think about that. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also keep in mind that not every reading is for you. You know, I get a lot of people who don't realize that. I got a question just today from somebody that said, how come one reading, you know, says that he's coming back and the next reading says he's not? And they aren't just talking about my readings in particular. It's like, I didn't, I just deleted this person's comment because it was like, well, you, do you not get it? Do you not get it? Not every reading is for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2019. Happy New Year. What does Virgo need to know? I also get some people say, why do you flip the cards? <laughs> to get reversals. So we do have a fresh start. Something is being revealed. Something is no longer hidden. Somebody may be, you know, starting on a new journey, starting at zero. That means starting at zero. Like starting a brand new journey from the very, very, very beginning. Somebody has received some sort of clarity or they're about to. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, okay, so we have the death and we have emperor, so Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Aries, Scorpio, this is Pisces and Cancer, you could be dealing with the Cancer as well, and then we have Aries, this could also be a Taurus, um, could be, you know, I consider it an Aries, a Taurus, Taurus, or a Capricorn, that's my own opinion. So we have uh, Earth energy here, Taurus, um, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Anyway, this could also be you. This could even be Virgo. It could be anybody, really. This is a very prominent man. This is a completion major completion ending and this is a new beginning and I mean something is absolutely positively ending or it has ended that has left you um, at the very beginning okay so you may be starting at the beginning again mmm Let me just take care of this glare real quick. There we go. Okay, so it looks as though somebody has, you know, left a dissatisfying situation. They've left it, you know. Because there's no more growth there. There's no more love, perhaps. No more passion. And it feels as though they can't pretend, they can't lie. There's no more pretending. It's like there was something that was hidden, but it's been revealed. And, and now there's, there's no way to manifest any more growth here. You can't manifest growth into a dead situation. So, yeah. 
And we have somebody that is starting over and releasing, completely releasing and heading right towards a new relationship by the looks of things. But you may not feel like you're ready for a new relationship, but there's definitely an opportunity for a new relationship. Oh my goodness. Um, there's one, one relationship, I believe, that has ended. And now we have an opportunity for another one. Ooh. So you may be feeling ungrounded. You may be feeling unstable and insecure at this time. Like you're not, you can't, you can't fall in love. You can't be in love. You can't make love a priority. You may feel like right now things are just too unstable and insecure. And you probably feel like you're just not able to invest. You know, I'm not able to invest in love right now. I'm not. There's been too much uh, chaos. Things have been a little bit chaotic. And, you know, you're, you're being offered an opportunity to, to start over in a new relationship. This is a new relationship. But you may be like, I can't right now. I can't right now. The ending that I just went through is so fresh. The death, the release is so fresh. And I'm trying to regain control and structure of my life. Try to get my shit back together. You know? You may have been dealing with some sort of trickster or some sort of manipulative situation and now you gotta now you gotta pick up the pieces. But now it's like, yeah, it's time to step over that finish line and step into your new life because you apps I mean the first card you, know, you never know where I'm going to put these cards. The first card in the deck and the last card. So we have a major completion here of one phase of your life. There's no doubt about it. Whether this happened in December or it's happening now. You're about to start a new phase. A new, a new prominent um, long-term phase is about to begin for you. After you may have been duped. You may have been tricked. Or you may have just been... Lied to, deceived in some way. Or maybe, you know, in the, it could have even been you. Maybe, maybe you were the one that decided something needed to end. Whatever the case is. There's been some sort of lie, okay? There's been somebody that has been living some sort of lie for some, sort, some period of time. And it's over now. The truth has been revealed. It's over now. And now we have this new beginning presented. This fresh start at zero and you may just feel like, I don't have anything stable to offer. You know, this is all good, you know, and, and there is a definite connection here. But I'm not sure that I'm stable enough to give you anything. And now you have to make that call. You have to make that call. You have to make that judgment call. You have to, you know, can you release? Can you forgive the past? Can you resurrect? Can you live again? Can you live again? Because there's an opportunity to, to live again. So yeah, you 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 have a definite opportunity for some sort of major new start after something has died. Okay, this is a, this is like a death as well. We something has died, and now you have an opportunity to rise up and and think about. You guys, I, for some reason, reincarnation came to mind. Start over. Start over in a new direction. Start over. Start it. Start it. You know, back at zero. You somebody is is around that wants to offer you emotional support, and it looks like you're still reeling from some sort of pain that you have been through. You're still you're still not really accepting an opportunity or seeing an opportunity because you're not feeling stable enough. And you're healing. You're going through some sort of healing. And I feel like you're, you're needing to uh, probably, well, I feel like you just need to be by yourself. But it looks like you're being urged to take a risk. You're being urged to let this person help you feel alive again. Somebody is here offering some sort of emotional support. Okay? That's the truth. 
but you probably feel like you just can't. I can't do it right now. I'm better off on my own because I'm, I've got a lot of work to do. And for many of you, you are just at the point where I'm, you're enjoying life, you're doing fine, you're doing good, um, you're, you're working on yourself. And it's like now this new partnership has arrived and you don't know if you can, you can even go there. It's like, I don't know if I can. I don't, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I am ready to change my life again for this. So I think that you have been in limbo and, and you're probably still in limbo. You're going through some sort of awakening here, some sort of enlightenment. And you're probably going to be presented with an opportunity to change your perspective, you know, to, you know, maybe this person has come into your life to help you heal. And you're, it looks to me like you're being called to give them a chance, to really give them a chance, you know. Whoever this person is, they are genuine, they uh, have really good intentions, and they're offering you love, and they're offering you loving support. So you do have somebody in your life that wants to help you to heal, but you are probably pushing them away, pushing them away a little bit, because you may have just gotten out of something that was very, or you, you haven't completely healed from something that was really... Um, deceptive to you somebody really really tricked you and manipulated you and lied to you and you know whatever there's been some manipulation here there's been some lies now somebody is offering you this this uh support this emotional support or this love or this you know companionship and you're just like uh I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But you're being called to take a risk, to step over that finish line, that actual finish line of whatever it is that has happened. Let it end. Seriously, let it end. Because you do have that opportunity to start over, to start really, 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 really over. Okay? Fresh new start. But you have to have faith. You need to... You need to have faith again, you know. Don't let whatever happened in the past hinder you and cause you to lose an opportunity with somebody who is very genuine and uh, loving because it looks like that's what you got here. And whoever this person is, they're very protective and, you know, they, they want to help you. They want to help you come out of this slump. But you may be still bitter. You may be bitter. You may, may be resentful. You may be a little closed off. And you may be, feel like you're better off on your own. I don't trust anybody. But whoever this person that's coming in, they're offering you love. And you have an opportunity for new love. So you absolutely have a new beginning here with somebody. But your own fears, your own resent, your own bitterness... Your own lack of uh, ability to let somebody help you is hindering your new beginning. But will you take it? Will, will Virgo take this new beginning? Will they take this risk? You may feel like you're better off on your own because you got more work to do. But you know, maybe this person is here to help you. To help you. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, they're, help, they're here to help you to get unstuck. They're here to help you deal with the uh, emotional turmoil, the mental turmoil that you have put yourself in. They're here to help you uh, break free from your thoughts, your negative thoughts. But it looks, I said, will Virgo accept this offer? It looks like you... You want this help. You want somebody to come rescue you. You do. It, uh, it's the truth. I mean, this person's waiting for somebody to come rescue them. So it's like you want this. You do want this. But for some reason, you're scared of it. Yeah, you're back and forth, back and forth. It's like, yes, I want you to save me. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You need to let go of your ego. You need to let go of your pride. If somebody hurt you, 
consider it a blessing in disguise. All these cups are full of, you know, they're full of ripe fruit. There's a sweet offer being presented to you. Don't let your own thoughts, your own mind, your own mental power struggles hinder you from being happy because you have an opportunity for love here. All you got to do is take the new offer, take the new offer, take the new offer. And I think you are probably, you. there's a good chance you could realize that because this Five of Cups is reversed, you could realize that this new offer is, is, is there. You may realize that, you know, this could make me really, really, really happy. I hope that you do. I really, really do. This person is here. They're going to help you heal. So, Virgo, I believe that you have an opportunity for love here in which you may feel like you're, you're just not ready for it. But it's here. It's here for a reason. It's, this person has come into your life for a reason. There's no coincidences here. It's almost like you need this person. And you may feel like, I don't need anybody. And some of you are like, no, I don't. And, and some of you are going to say, I don't need anybody. Bullshit. Somebody's been lying anyway, right? Everybody needs love. Everybody needs love. But this Queen of Swords Reverse would say that. She'd say, I don't need anybody. Queen of Swords Reverse. That's, that's a lie. That's a protection. And that's a way to protect yourself, okay? So we got somebody here who's trying to protect themselves by being harsh and cold or whatever. But now there is somebody here that's like, you know what, I want to help you. I, I am here for you. Uh, and you're just like, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm stable enough. I'm not sure if I have anything long term to offer you. But I feel like this person is going to put in Yeah, you're afraid. You're afraid, Virgo. You're afraid of being cheated. You're afraid of being robbed. You're afraid of somebody stealing from you. Stealing your abundance. Stealing your security, right? You don't want to get involved in any insecure situations. I mean, you've been robbed before, right? High rate robbery here. But it's time to release that thought. It's time to let go of that thought that you are going to get robbed over and over and over again. Not everybody is like that. Whoever this person is that's coming into your life, they're a good person, okay? They are, they are at a high vibration. Let them in. So Virgo, you have an opportunity for love here with somebody new. And this is after one situation dies. Something is dying, and that is no joke. This death brings a new beginning, okay? And that's the truth. So, And they're mirroring each other. So there's something that ends, and endings bring new beginnings for real. But you may feel like you just don't have it in you to start this. You can't, you don't, I'm not ready, blah, 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 blah. And I don't need anybody, I'm good. And this person in, in the universe is, always works in mysterious ways. This person is here and they're, you're being called to take a risk. Take a risk with this person. They could make you very, very happy. Don't discard it because of your own fears. That's what I got to say about that. Let's get one of these for Virgo for January. So, yes, yeah, so you're going to receive some sort of help from somebody. And you're probably like, uh, I don't know. I think you should take it. That's my take on it. Because it could lead to something really long term. 
you could be ending one long-term phase of your life and stepping right into another long-term phase with that world card. Now, the world card is a lesson learned. you you got to go through strife in life to learn a lesson. Don't let that lesson hinder you for the rest of your life because now you have an opportunity to start a new chapter. No, no kidding. Perfect card, huh? You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. You are limitless. Don't limit yourself to the past. You have an opportunity for love here. My advice is to let this person love you. The last one didn't work out for a reason. Good luck.